Ah, Sergeant. Been enjoying yourself in Berlin, have you? Don't take the mick out of me. Get to the point, General. What new suicide mission have you got planned for us this time? Courteous as ever, I see. Whatever happened to that traditional British Army discipline? Kiss my arse. You know, if it weren't for your service record, you'd be spending a long time behind bars. All right, down to business. The mission I've assigned you to is somewhat unusual, but it is of vital importance. Okay. We have received intelligence that the Nazis are attempting to move priceless works of art from occupied France to Germany ahead of the imminent Allied invasion. Once great museums in Paris and other capital cities are now empty. This valuable cargo is being moved to a small town from where it will be transferred to Berlin. If the Nazis manage to cross the border, these treasures will undoubtedly be lost forever. Lights. Sanovold, an insignificant train station a few days ago, yet today it is one of the most heavily defended places in the Reich. Units from the Wehrmacht are protecting the area, but it has also been reinforced by elements from the 1st Division of the Waffen-SS and by the Gestapo. They've set up a security perimeter, and hundreds of troops are guarding the area. The final shipments of merchandise are now arriving at the station, and yesterday an armored train appeared. We therefore believe that the convoy will leave for the border within the next few hours. Clearly, we can't attack the convoy from the air, so we have had to come up with an audacious plan. Your mission will be to get some men into the station and onto that train undetected, ready to take control once it leaves the station. Meanwhile, you will join up with the resistance a few miles further on to transfer the cargo to a collection point on the beach. You may believe this to be a suicide mission, but death is not an option. There is a great deal at stake here, Sergeant. Nice place. Okay, Thomas, enough sightseeing. Back to work. Oh, yes, work. Winning the war single-handed, don't you mean? La, la, lily, ma, la. Hello, guys, this is Danny here. And today, I will talk about biography of the Greenberry. Here is the Greenberry tiny and extremely violent and aggressive character. His military career has been marred by serious discipline problems throughout. A hard bone to gnaw for his superior officers and a real nightmare for enemy combatants. His strong leadership and determination have allowed him to become the commando's leader. 
Okay, I took the resource from the Commandos Wikia website. So his real name was Jack O'Hara, born 10th October 1909 in Dublin, Ireland, also known as Butcher Tiny or the Jack O'Hara. So photo photograph of Tiny, I already show you. So Green Barry or Jerry McHale in Commandos 2 Men of Courage is a former heavyweight boxer of Irish origins and army boxing champion from 1934 to 1937. He was sentenced in 1938 by a military court to 14 years of forced labor after hitting an officer. His sentence was however suspended when he joined the commandos. He was promoted to sergeant after the raid on the island of Vaxo. So the Green Barrow is the biggest member of the group and his tremendous strength allows him to fight, knock out and tie enemies very quickly. He preferred weapons are the combat knife, his bare hands and any enemy weapon picked up with either twice the Green Barrow is an effective killing machine. Okay. After having being hit by a bullet in the arm and cut off from his unit without ammunition. He penetrated a bunker and killed 16 German soldiers before returning to Allied lines.